So we've been here in South Africa on lockdown for the past two months. Uh, we just found out that there's a flight that leaves tomorrow back to the U.S. And so we are on that flight. <gasps> Kitty's here! Kitty's here! Say goodbye to Kitty! Kitty! Katie Cadden. She's been my only friend this whole two months in quarantine. <laughs> Hi, Katie. Goodbye, Katie. I'm gonna miss you. Okay, Katie time's done. <laughs> yeah, anyway, um, so the flight leaves tomorrow morning, which means this is our last full day outside of the U.S. It's gonna be really sad to have our year-long international travel come to a close, but it'll be nice to be back home with uh, friends and family. Yeah, but now it's packing time. Let's go. It's almost bedtime, and it's almost wake-up time, too, because wake-up time is at 4. <laughs> and right now it's like 11, so that's like in 5 hours. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so well, now we're out of sleep, and then we have like two whole days of flying. Mm -hmm. So we're going through seven cities in the next 22 days. Seven right, cities in two days. We're on a plane for 36 hours. Oh, dear. Okay. Anyway, just got to hit you with a stress <laughs> fest, but it's the sleeping time. Oh, burp. Okay. <laughs> Bye bye. All right, so right now it's 3.30 and soon, when this guy wakes up, we will be heading to the US Embassy where we're supposed to meet. And after we get there, we're gonna take a shuttle to the airport. But then after that, we have really no idea what to expect. So the next 48 hours will be really interesting. This is it, it is four in the morning and we are leaving our home for the past two months and headed back to our real home. We're at the U.S. Embassy now, and uh, we don't know what's gonna happen next. We're getting on a shuttle to the airport. So now we're out for We have a police escort to the airport. Airport now it's super empty. Um, we had to get health checks to come in, um, had our temperature checked and stuff. Yep, we had a police escort bring us to the, that uh, was really cool. to the airport. So. Um, but yeah, yeah, now we got our tickets and we're gonna go to our gate. Very empty airport. Everything is shut down. It's crazy. Very interesting. You can sit here, but you can't sit here. They're trying to keep the space between people. Okay, so we just got through security and now we're at our gate. And the security was so fast. We were like the only people in line. It was crazy how quick everything went. Because yep. it is so empty here. Um, so over the next two days, next 48 hours, we're gonna be going to four countries and seven different cities. Uh, it's gonna be super intense. Um, but our first stop um, on this flight is we're going to stop in Cape Town.
That's Table Mountain out there. So the plane's about a third full, so there's tons of room. Um, and right now we're stopping Cape Town though to pick up more passengers. Our next stop is uh, Addis, Ethiopia. It's a lot fuller now. We're at the Addis Airport right now. We're not leaving the airport, so this doesn't count as a new country. But it is our first time in Ethiopia, even though it doesn't officially count. <laughs> uh, um, but we are headed on to Dublin. So we just took an eight hour flight from Addis to Dublin. Uh, we just stopped to refill the plane. Um, and we're really sad right now that we can't get out because we have a lot of fun memories in Ireland. Uh, but we are going to be heading to Washington DC uh, right now. So this is really exciting. We're about to land in the U.S. for the first time in almost a year. It's crazy. We are in the U.S. now. So normally this departure thing is full of flights. However, today there's only like eight. It's crazy. This is the line for security. It is completely empty. There's no one in line. All right, so right now we are in Washington, D.C. Uh, that flight from Otis to Washington, D.C. via Dublin was the longest part of our journey so far. Um, but the flight was like really empty, which is super nice. So we each had a road ourselves. Um, so we could sleep. Yeah, um, that was really nice. Uh, yeah. But now we're in Washington, D.C., back in the U.S. And uh, we have two hours um, until our next flight, and which will head to Minneapolis. Let me get you a cute little oh, bun. Yeah. Uh, that is cute. Oh, I can't smile. Idiot. Super full, but then it's just like everything's closed and empty. It's a ghost airport. <laughs> we got a ride. Oh, that's way too close. We got a ride in a tram thing. Just stare. It looks so weird. This is fun. So. Right now we are in Minneapolis. And we just have one flight left until we get back to San Diego. One flight left and a whole trip and then we are back home. It's crazy to think about, but here we go. All coming to a close and in a few hours we will be uh, nice and cozy back in California.
Okay, so after 50 hours of traveling uh, through seven cities in four different countries, we finally made it back to San Diego. Yeah, so the last two days have been absolutely crazy. Um, the flight, yeah, most of the flights were pretty empty, which is nice. Um, the airports were completely yeah, empty. Yeah, everything There's... was shut down mostly. It was crazy. Yep. Um, we, we got like temperature checked. I don't know the screening. Um, Health checks yeah. in South Africa and in Ethiopia. Yeah, but, but U.S., they just let us through. Not a thing. Not a thing. <laughs> but uh, we will be self-quarantining for 14 days uh, to stay safe. And we're just glad to be back uh, here in San Diego. Airplane food is so good. You got it, you got it. <laughs> what? <Josh! laughs> I can't trust you. Airport. Hey, it's Kristen Bell. <gasps> it is her.